What's up, YouTubers? Nivy17 here. Guys, I got another Injustice Gods Among Us video for you. Today, I will be doing Challenge 4 in the Deathstroke Arkham Origins Challenge on Nightmare Difficulty. So, let's do it. As you know, you have to have Cyborg on your team. So, I will be putting the Bronze Cyborg on my team. And I will be tackling on two gold cards just so I can run through this challenge very quickly. I'm going to go all the way over to the right. And I am going to tackle Regime, Superman, and Lobo. Actually, not Lobo. I will tackle, uh... I'll tackle Wonder Woman with uh, Regime, Superman. Alright, going to give Regime, Superman, the Mark of the Lady Shiva. And I will be giving Regime, Wonder Woman... The power gloves. All right, all right. Okay, first fights against Batgirl, Lobo, and the Flash. Two energy to fight. Two energy per fight. First fight costs us five thousand credits to skip. So how you guys doing today? Hopefully it's good. All right. Starting this fight off against Batgirl. Hitting for roughly two thousand normally. Let's see what a crit does with him. Gonna block your punch. Can't get a crit yet. In comes the flash. Oh, I think that's at 3,023. Alright, so that's lovely. So 2015 normally. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, that's a lot of hits. Have you guys noticed that these new characters, they get a, they gave them a lot of hits in their second special. Oh, now we got the the 40% boost to his attack, so now he's hitting for 2,400. Gonna tag in Wonder Woman, because I'm just getting reckless with Super Superman right there. Wonder Woman crypts right off the bat, gonna use her level 2 special to knock out Lobo. Alright, will it kill Batgirl? It will not kill Batgirl. She's gonna use her level 1 special. And I will KO her with that. It's going to hit the Flash. Going to block his move. Going to hit him with the level 2 special from Superman. And boom. Down for the count. Wasn't too hard. Wasn't too hard. Wasn't too, too easy. Alright, we get 520 credits. So that's 20 more credits than the first fight in challenge number 3. I'm making this video straight off coming out of number 3, guys. So... I'm punching these videos out today. Alright, moving on to the second video. It's a, We get chaos, so random tagging. Hopefully it's going to kill my uh, bronze uh, cyborg card. Speaking of uh, characters getting a lot of hits, I mean, look at Deathstroke's second special, Red Sun Deathstroke. He has, like, it's incredibly strong. And I think it does, like, six, seven hits. If you notice that, compare that to the uh, the original cards. Not that the, the original cards, their second specials don't have that many hits. So doesn't it feel like, whoa, they just tagged me out there quick? All right, and there we go. He knocked out uh knocked out my uh, red my cyborg. Man, I cannot get that up. That sucks. Red Sun Superman seems to be blocking everything in the world. So there comes uh. Red Sun Deathstroke, and hit him with the level 2 special. Didn't get to kill him on the first hit like I wanted it to. Knocked him out. We still got Grundy to deal with, folks. Gonna hit Superman with the level 1 special. Will it KO him? It will. And in comes Grundy. Solomon Grundy. Boy, they are just flip-flopping me. I let Grundy hit me with a level 2 special. Well, I didn't let him. You know, he hit me. How much health am I at level 2 special? It looks like it's going to KO. And it does. Nice. Yeah, I didn't let him hit it with me, but I'm just saying. Just saying. Alright. So these fights are challenging, which is, it makes them fun. So I welcome the challenge. Working my way up to uh, 700,000 credits. If you guys notice, you can see the progression in my videos if you watch them. Alright, going on to the third fight against Zod, Joker, and Doomsday. 
That's who I'll use next. I'll use next. I'll use Joker next. I wish it didn't change this Zod's uh, special move. I, I liked it the way it used to be. Alright, gonna block his moves there real quick. Got him down to about half health. Zod's pretty slow, so. But his uh, level 1 special is pretty powerful. Almost killed him. I think he's about to tag out. Yep. Try to get an extra punch in on him. Alright, hit Joker with the level 2 special. It was enough to KO him. Back in comes Zod. That is an odd tag in. Because he's just going to go right back out, just as you saw. Tried to hit Doomsday with the level 1 special. Unblocked, but that didn't work out. Got three crits in a row right there. Lovely. And I was able to KO him with the level 1 special. As you see, I'm kind of flying through these pretty easy for gold guard fights. Alright, 600 credits for that fight. Moving on to the next one. Against Aquaman, Scorpion, and Hot Girl. We got radiation on, so I need to be careful. Plus, you got uh, bleeding. You got bleeding from Aquaman and from Mortal Kombat Scorpion on top of that. So you got to watch out for that, folks. Starting it off with three crits on Aquaman, so I'm getting, I got him down to half health already. It's the beauty of those gear cards, guys. Look at him in full effect. I already knocked out Aquaman, just like that. Gotta watch out for that level 1 special from Hot Girl, because it changes the camera, and if you don't block as soon as possible, it'll hit you every time. I tried to hit her with the level 1 special to knock her out, but she got out. Alright, I'm bleeding from a Scorpion. Scorpion's pretty weak. Saw how fast his health went down. He's going to hit me with Hellfire, which does big damage. I'm going to hit him with the level 2 special, which is going to knock him out. I'm going to tag in Wonder Woman and use her level 1 special. She's going to get It's going to get blocked. Hot Girl is going to use Bloody War, and then I'm going to melee her to death. Or defeat, not death. Alright, we got 640. 40 credits for that fight, guys. That's it's really nice. All right, moving on to the next fight. We are against Harley, Batman, and Joker. So I'm gonna have to switch my cards out after this fight, guys. All righty. I like this Harley Quinn animated. Her trait is so useful. Alright, she's just going to town on my Superman, blocking all his heavy attacks, and I switched to a light one. I'm going to use my level 2 special with Superman to knock her out. In comes the Joker. And Man, Injustice had a nice storyline, didn't it? With the whole the Joker poisoning uh, Superman. If you guys haven't played it, sorry, spoiler. Um... That was a nice. It was a nice storyline with the Joker poisoning Superman. You guys should have played it by now. And uh, forcing Superman to kill like almost half of Metropolis and all that stuff. It was really nice. A nice little storyline about if Superman gone bad. Those seem to be very popular storylines. What if Superman goes bad? Who will stop him? That's true. All right, 680 credits. All right, like I said earlier, I'm going to have to switch out my team. I'm going to use, oops, you know what? I'm just going to use Batman and Batman. And then I'm going to use Silver Card Cyborg. Batman. Batman, why is he running, Dad? Because we have to chase him. Batman. But he didn't do anything wrong. Because he's not the hero we read we need right now. So we'll hunt him. Batman. We'll sick the dogs on him. Because he can take it. Because he is no hero. 
What movie's that from? And I'm pretty sure I messed the lines up. Alright, so, oh my god, so, look at that crit, 3,338, oh my goodness, it's freaking ridiculous. That one was definitely the best decision to make in this fight right now, oh boy. There he goes, Jon Stewart's little energy shield, shielding his teammates. You know what, in a sense, that really does make sense. He would do that. In comes my cyborg, who really doesn't stand a chance. So... Gonna use power fish just for laughs and giggles. Of course, it gets blocked. Oh, here it comes one, two, three. See, that was four hits roughly. Got the lunge kick. Will it KO him? Yes. In comes Man of Steel, Superman, Henry Cavill. He's gonna knock out my cyborg, and I'm gonna knock him out with uh, Batman. All right, guys, let's see the Batmobile here here in action. Oh, what was that? Alright, knocked him out. In comes the Flash. Down goes the Flash. Alright. Oh, we got 3,300 in uh, experience for Cyborg. Alright, 8,720. Credits earned. Nice. Definitely will be getting 12,000 on the final challenge. Alright, moving on to the next fight, guys. So, I was reading a, uh, well, I wasn't reading, I was watching another YouTuber's videos, Boogie2988 uh, videos, and he had a video up talking about um, the leader, the president of EA, talking about how gamers resist change. Now, it's a very interesting topic because, um, I mean, I've been in gaming my life since my parents bought us a PlayStation 1. I mean, we uh, that's when I started getting serious about it. Okay, we had a Sega Genesis growing up, but I vaguely remember that. But I do remember the PlayStation 1. That's why I, that's why I say that one. So, that's my background. I've had a GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation, and... I have a Xbox 360, a PlayStation 3 right now. I don't have the newer ones because I'm a broke college student. But it's a very interesting topic right now. So he says gamers are resistant to change. And I think it's very funny that a guy from EA would say that. Because his company is known to put out the same game every year with little tweaks. Like uh, Madden. I mean, I have a friend that buys Madden every year, that bought Madden every year for the um, the Xbox 360. And now that the newer console came out, he won't buy it anymore because he's like, I'm not going to fall for that same old ploy that they did to me back then. I was stupid. He says, it's the same game over and over again. Um, and then EA is known for buying out companies, laying off 77% of the workforce, and then either scrapping the games completely, you know, well, and either coming out with the games and it's not what it used to be, or scrapping the games completely and losing the fans' uh, fans' love. So that's that's what EA does, and he goes and talks about business decisions. All right, so there is this EA is known for shady business deals. The season the the season uh, pass, for instance. I think EA started it. I think. But I do know they started the online pass. So if you bought a used game at GameSpot that had online and it was an EA Sports game, you wouldn't have been able to play online. Now, I think that has been taken away. But, I mean, what kind of crap is that, though? If you bought a game, why do you have to spend extra money just to be able to play a feature just because you didn't buy it brand new? That That has... What does that have to do with anything? Every game has online, so why do you have to pay to play it is uh, that's ridiculous that's changed and I don't like it and apparently not that many other people liked it either because they took it away now EA also came out with this mobile game I don't remember its name maybe you do and they basically hampered the game with microtransactions and so many people got pissed and that was what the main article was talking about that they don't like change that gamers don't like change or innovation 
How is it innervation to nuke your app game with microtransactions? That that's not innovation. That is cash cowing. Innovation is new, fresh ideas that are fun to play with, brand new stuff that is enjoyable, not something that is diverting me of all my m nickels and dimes and pennies. Um, so, I thought it was very interesting how this uh, argument goes off, because, you know, I've actually always had a personal stand against download content. Um, you know, the very first game that I bought download content for was Fallout 3, right? And the very first download content, in my opinion, sucked. Operation Anchorage and Point and, uh, The Pit. Those sucked. I, I remember, um, Operation Anchorage was about an hour. You could complete it in an hour. And if you and then if you go again, you complete it in like 15 minutes. It was ridiculous, and the storyline was kind of sucked ass. It just felt like a cash grab of extra crap to do that had nothing to do with anything. Same thing with uh, the pit. The pit wasn't even playable when it first came out because you would start the game and fall through the map. I remember that it was so buggy. But then they came out with Broken Steel, and I heard that was pretty good, but my first two experiences with it were bad, so I never bought it. That set me up to not like download content. And I started to notice that download content in video games was not good. Most of the time, it was half-ass half -ass stuff created just to get money. The only one that I ever played that I felt was really worth the money was Oblivion's... Uh, Shivering Isles. That was really good. I remember buying it and it was really good. That was about the only download content I've bought so far that I thought was really worth the money. I bought all the Injustice character packs, but I'm not really counting character packs. Uh, so I was against download content. And then we had the big problem where Capcom would put, would lock away their download content on their disc already. That's a hunt hunk of malarkey right there that's a hunk of malarkey so you're telling me I spend money on a brand new game and I can't get all the content that's on it because you want to release it whenever you want and then charge me for it charge me for content that's on a disc that I've bought the disc for already so what that, that's that's BS. That's that's shitty uh, business right there. So I, I've never been a fan of uh, download content. Never. And lack of innovation, my ass. Those are not innovation. That's not... Yeah, that's change, and I don't like it. But not all change in video games has been bad. Uh, MMOs came out. And uh, it was very skeptical at first, paying uh, 11 $12 a month to play a game. But then after a while, you saw that it was really nice. Uh, online subscriptions for Xbox Live and uh, PlayStation Plus. Look at that. They, those came out. And um, look, how, uh, look how expensive they, they kind of, they were 60 60 $50 a year, which really isn't that bad. Really not that bad, but people were skeptical about that. That was change, and I generally think it's okay. Fifty, sixty dollars a month—that's lesser than my cell phone bill. Fifty, fifty, sixty dollars a year—that's lesser than my cell phone bill in one month. So, I don't think that's a big deal. That's innovation, and I liked it. But the innovation EA is talking about is AKA called shitty business. And that's trying to f screw the consumer out of every penny that they can they can get, and that is not what I'm down for. What do you guys think? Am I completely wrong? Do you guys disagree? Do you guys agree? Tell me in the comments below, guys. I I want to hear your guys' opinion on it. All right. 
I'm on the second to last fight in this challenge tower. I got a little I got a little off the rail with that uh topic. As you see it's important though. I mean I'm a I'm a diehard gamer, so I just happen to play this game all the time. And my MMO, which I can't I haven't figured out a way to record my MMO, I will show you guys that too. But you guys wouldn't like that, that's boring. Alright, so uh like I was saying, I'm on the second to last fight right now. KO'd two of the three. Alright, KO'd Scorpion, and now I'm on to the last fight on Challenge 4. Let's see who it's against. Alright, and it's against Martian Manhunter, Elseworld Flash, and Sinestro. They got regeneration on, too. Alright, so this could be quite annoying, because I hate Martian Manhunter. Block City King, overly aggressive. So they're getting 400 health a tick, apparently. So, but he's not standing a chance right now. He's going to hit me with Phase Assault. I was going to say, I'm surprised he's not attacking out with all that health he has. Alright, going to hit Sinesha with the level 2 special. Will it hit him, actually? Yes, it will, and it will KO him. So we got one character down. Back comes in Block City. Alright. Oh, I hate knockbacks. So he has knockbacks on his heavy attacks, which are very annoying. In comes Flash. Flash hits, I block his level 1 special. I'm going to beat him down with the melee a bit. And he's going to hit me with his level 1 special this time around. I tried to hit him with the level 2 special, but it didn't work. Alright. I'm in bullet time now, so everything's slowed down. He's going to be able to beat me up for like, what, 12 seconds? That really didn't feel that long at all. Back comes in Martian Manhunter spamming his phase attack like always. Down he goes and I'm going to hit Flash with the level 2 special. One punch to knock him out. And a punch across the face to knock him out. Will we get a credit bonus? Let's see. 1,440, so yes we do. It's minimum, but hey, any credits is happy credits. Alright. And that was the final fight in the tower, guys. That's going to conclude my challenge for Arkham Origin Deathstroke Nightmare video. If you liked the video, guys, throw it a thumbs up its way. Comment on my video about what you thought about my uh, my rant on the gaming inter industry and rant and uh, innovation. If you want to see more Injustice videos, how about you subscribe to my channel? I'll have more Injustice videos coming in the future for you guys. And as always, I would like to thank you guys for watching. And wish you guys a great day. Take care, guys.